What's happening guys, Good here, and this is how to get the achievement facing the dragon without turning the power on. Uh, so far, I think this is found by me, I don't really want to claim it though, because I haven't really checked YouTube, because really, I don't know why you'd want to do this unless you really, really have something against turning the power on. It costs the same as the normal achievement guide, if you haven't seen that already, there's one on my channel, I'll put a link in the description, go and check that out, because that is a much easier way on how to get this achievement. This is very long, very tenuous, but it works, so I thought I'd put it, you know, up. So instead of um, going down the lift, you collect 750 points, like the other one, but instead of going down the lift, you go through those double doors. Now, my capture card didn't work, so I'm actually recording the theatre mode, so these are the places these parts will be. They will also be some in the starting room, but if they're not there, don't panic, because the four will be here. And as you can see, the parts don't actually exist until I pick them up in theater mode, which is pretty poor, but once I pick them up, they exist. Now, what you want to do, you just want to tease it along. You want to just keep mashing the X button on your part, and it will slowly move across the floor every time you switch between them, which is quite a clever little strategy. Now, the tricky bit is getting it down this fall. What I found easier to do is um, get the bigger piece, you want to pair it up, so you've got like a metal mesh, a flag, the battery slash motor, or, and that fan bit, and you want to pair like the um, big parts with the small parts. So, keep a big part in your inventory while you fall, like so, and then switch between a little part so that falls to the ground, so they're both there, because I've had times where the bigger parts actually do get caught up, and you, you, you know, you can't do this method. Um, once you're down here, build the, build the, I can't remember what it's called, the, the catapult thing in my bob. I really haven't played this map long enough to learn the terminology, but it's, I don't know why you'd want to do this, but it does work. I've already had the achievement pop on me, because hence the other achievement guide, but, um, the character my brother was playing as did actually say his quote saying, hey, I'm just a badass, or something like that. So, I know this works as a method, and you also want to keep a zombie alive, because obviously you want to do it before round two. Also, do what I just did there and just, you know, kite the zombie down so it doesn't bother your other partner upstairs still trying to get the last pieces. So, once that's built, all you have to really do is just catapult to the dragon part, really. That is, is you know, it's not that hard. That's all you have to do. But, like I said, don't try and get any parts stuck up there. It is quite hard. It might take you a couple of attempts. But if you've got something that's turning the power on, this is the method for you, I guess. Now, don't do what I did here. Put it like that, because this will happen. I'm so amazing at this game. So, what we did here, um, we just switched to my brother's camera, and he then he got over to the other side and completed the tutorial for us. So, say a big thanks to him. His channel will be in the description as well. But, I guess that's it. That's, how, that's an alternative method on how to get the achievement facing the dragon on Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Nazi Zombies, or I think it's just called Zombies now, but on Die Rise, there it is. The achievement obviously didn't pop because, like I said, we've both got it before. But there we go. That's how to do it. It's been Goody, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, goodbye.